type of um, turbulent flows is the isotropic flow or isotropy. So I want uh, to uh, present the definition of isotropy in turbulent flow. When uh, <clears throat> the uh, different flow properties are not dependent on the rotation of coordinates about any arbitrary origin. This point, this the last part of this definition is very important. The rotation about any arbitrary origin. For example, consider we have a turbulent flow here, and there is a coordinate at this point. You can rotate the coordinate without translation, or you can rotate the coordinate about its uh, origin. Uh, for example, this is uh, our coordinate. If I rotate this coordinate about its uh, origin, this is the second rotated uh, coordinate. So the different uh, properties of a turbulent flow should remain constant uh, by the rotation of the coordinate. But uh, the important point here is that the rotation may be about another point, which is here, for example. So you can you have this coordinate. Uh, initially, you have this one. If you rotate this coordinate with respect to this origin, uh, you, for example, we have something like this schematically, of course. So the important point here is that the, the properties should be uh, should remain constant uh, with respect to. Uh, the rotation of the coordinates about any arbitrary origin. Uh, for example, if you have the Coriolis force or the Coriolis acceleration in the flow, or in uh, buoyancy driven flows or stratified flows, we don't have isotropic uh, turbulence, isotropy. So the Coriolis forces or stratifying or stratified flows break the isotropy of the turbulent flows. <laughs> Again, in small scale fully developed turbulent flows, we use isotropy to, to explain the definition. So it's a good uh, presumption, the isotropy of the flow in a small scale fully developed turbulent flows. Uh, another point here is that I, uh, any isotropic flow is homogeneous. The reverse is not true. We have homogeneous uh, flows which are not isotropic. But if the flow is isotropic, it must be homogeneous. Because uh, when the flow is homogeneous, it means that the mean flow is not dependent on the translation of coordinates. And you know from your basic mathematics that the, any translation can be decomposed or can be reconstructed or can be uh, or it is equal to two rotations. For example, I have a coordinate initially here, and uh, I want to translate this coordinate to this one. So we have two points, and this is a translation. So uh, the final point is here, the initial point is this one. And I want to replace the translation by two rotations. You can do this for any translation. So this is the, there is a point here, O, for example, this is the origin of rotation. I can first rotate this coordinate, this point. Uh, this new coordinate is the rotated coordinate about the point O. And the second rotation is to rotate this um, coordinate here about its origin. And finally, uh, this coordinate is again uh, similar to this one, but, uh, but translated away from this point. So we have a translation uh, which is replaced by two rotations. So if the flow is isotropic, so the mean flow properties are not uh, function of rotation, so and two rotations are equal to one translation. So if the flow is isotropic, it's also homogeneous. But uh, Necessarily, any translation, any rotation cannot be uh, reconstructed by translation. For example, this one. Uh, this is a rotation, but it cannot be reconstructed by translation. So, if the flow is homogeneous, it is not necessarily isotropic. But if uh, the flow is isotropic, it's necessarily homogeneous.
And the last one here uh, is that the mean flow properties in isotropic flows uh, are uh, zero. Uh, because based on this, the gradient of the mean flow, gradient of mean flow properties in homogeneous flows are zero. And if the flow is isotropic, it is homogeneous. So again, in isotropic flows, the gradient of mean uh, flow properties are zero. When the gradient of something is a zero, it means that it should be constant. So the mean flow property, for example, the mean velocity in isotropic flow, which is a homogeneous as well, uh, is a, a constant. By, a by a, finding an appropriate change of frame, you can easily prove that you can set this um, constant to zero. Uh, for example, you can move uh, by with a fluid particle if you move with a fluid particle, the velocity with respect to you is zero. So if the gradient of the mean flow property or the ensemble, the gradient of this uh, property is zero, it means that it is a constant. And by change of a frame, uh, you can set this constant zero. So the gradient of mean flow velocity, for example, in isotropic and homogeneous flows is zero.